start record. Hello everybody, welcome to my show. For those of you that are new, my name is Lee Moore Weber and I am a mixed media artist and scrapbooker. So welcome to my show. Anybody new? Hello Robin, Canadian Robin. I love that. All right, welcome, welcome. Oh, there's my li little Miss Liberty, Miranda. Awesome. Every really, really nice to see you guys. Um, we're going to have so much fun tonight. For those of you that missed last week, whoo, there goes my gelatos. For those of you that missed uh, my show last week, I announced that this month we have a sponsor, and our sponsor is Pan Pastels, which is absolutely amazing and generous and I'm just super excited because I absolutely love them does everybody know what pan pastels are if you don't I promise you you will love them tonight okay so what we're gonna be making tonight and throughout the month our mixed media challenge is um, we're gonna be making hang on a second something coming to my chat here so I can't see it right Um, what um, what was I saying um, Yes, what we're uh, what we're going to be making. T I lost my train of thought. It's horrible, you guys. Uh, what we're going to be making tonight is a um, awesome, awesome mixed media album. Okay, and so the challenge for December. That's what I was saying. The challenge for December is. Oh, hang on. Let me find. Let me get you the link. Chat options. Sorry. Allow links. There we go. Um. And so um, the December challenge is kind of like a year in review mixed media journal, okay? And so I don't, you know, I put it all on my on my blog. So Yvonne, I don't know if you want to go um, put the link of my blog where all the mixed media um, challenge rules are, contest rules. But we're going to be creating an art journal, and um, <coughs> I'll be using some pan pastels. Um, as well as uh, the uh, Prima collection. Um, what collection am I using? Rondell collection by Prima tonight or throughout the month. So we'll be creating together this mixed media album and I'll show it to you. Um, what I've also um, done is I found us a second sponsor and our second sponsor is Your Memories Here. And the owner is Christina Byers. She is awesome. She has all the amazing live with Prima kits. So she's going to put together um, a little bundle for us of some of the things that I'm using on the show as well. Um, or um, we're just figuring out the small details, but uh, the other thing that she might do is she might just give you guys a discount on all the products that I use. Okay. On her, um, on her, at her store. And I did post the link in the mixed media group of her store. Okay. So, um, I don't know, Yvonne, do you want to find, it's called My Memories Here, and um, you'll, you guys can find these awesome mixed media albums, and they are a resist, which I will show you, you can, you can see it, it's really, really great, um, it, well, as soon as you put something on it, the resist will come out, and um, it comes with this giant kit of, you buy separately, this giant kit of um, all this mixed media paper, different kinds, tags, etc. And um, she's got an amazing, amazing prices. Amazing. So I've got so many of them. I, I love them. I just love them. So I have tons. I'm not sure which one we'll use tonight. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Thank you so much, Yvonne. You're rock. You're like the best moderator. Guess what you're getting? <sighs> I'm totally sending you one of these. I'm totally sending you one of these, girl. You deserve it. You're amazing. Okay. So, um, everything that I'll be using, not, probably not everything I'll be using tonight she'll have in her store, but pretty darn close. I, I mean, I do like to use some vintage stuff and just, you know, other things that I find randomly and, you know, throughout my travels, but mostly I'll stick to uh, the Prima Rondell collection as well as... Um, this mixed media album okay and lots of the shabby chic um treasure finds okay um i don't think you missed anything i think you're good oh are you did you put them uh, my memories here i think you did okay she is a rocket moderator isn't she i just love her so um 
wow, our views are really going up, which is just fabulous. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to get started. I'm going to grab my pan pastels, and um, we're going to get moving. So let me just move this to the side. And so with the year in review, you guys, really, we're going to be just having a blast. So join me every Tuesday, and tonight we'll probably create a cover and maybe one or two pages, depending what we have time for. And then we're going to be creating throughout the month. Because Christmas is coming, I actually may add more shows. Because there may be some Tuesdays where, you know, everybody's busy and stuff. I may add some more shows, even in the afternoon. So join me. For those of you that can't, I'll certainly record them. Um, but this is going to be just way too much fun. I want to, you know, I just want to remember what this year was like. So that's the purpose of this awesome uh, mixed media journal. So... Um, I, I did a giant trip today to a wholesaler and I loaded myself up with Melissa Francis and Prima. I got to show you this giant bag. It is insanity. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait to, sh to just share some of the stuff I got. It's, it's buried, but give me a moment. I'm just going to grab the pan pastels and we will get started. For those of you that have never seen pan pastels, here they are. They are amazing. I'm just grabbing my handles for them. And my little tips. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And my spray setter. Ta-da. All right. Very nice. And I will tell you the colors I'll be using. And um, I go to, I buy my pan pastels at Delta Arts. So Yvonne, if you want to find, it's called, um, I think it's deltaarts.ca. Um, actually, let me see if I can find it and put it because I'm not sure. Uh, let's see here, Delta Arts. And I will tell you where to get your pan pastels. Let's see. And then we can get started. Because I know you guys are going to ask, so I might as well just put it in, right? Okay, here we go. And, oh, no, how come I can't put it in? Just a second. Hello, hello. All right, there we go. Okay, you can get your, Bridget, how are you? You can get your pan pastels there. It's an awesome, it's one of the cheapest art supply stores ever. Okay. Let's get started. What do you guys think? Should we do these amazing flower resists or we can do these like really cool like swirlies? I don't know if you can even see this because my my screen is now totally frozen. And we can also use like a script. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we do script swirlies or flower? Oh, I hope the screen is not frozen for you guys. <laughs> is it frozen? Because it's frozen for me. Swirly? Okay. Uh-oh. Something's happening with my video. Not again. This uh, Ustream thing's driving me nuts, you guys. All right, here we go. I'm back. Okay. Can I see myself? Barely. Okay, we're using swirlies because that's what somebody said to use. I'm not sure it goes with quite my theme. Let me see. Yeah, it'll go. Okay, swirlies it is. All right. No, actually, you guys, I'm going to use the script. Just because I decided. Okay. And I'm going to use one of these guys. Okay, so open this up. Oh, actually, you know what? The swirlies will look good with the, um, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so indecisive today. <laughs> oh, don't kill me, you guys. Don't kill me. 
look at the swirlies after I looked at the back. Isn't that pretty? I can't see my screen, so <laughs> this could be a challenge tonight again. This is so funny. So, so funny that I can't see myself. All right. You guys just tell me if you can't see me at any point in time, okay? All right, so what we're going to do next, I'm going to put these to the side, and we're going to start by doing our little album. And so this is the back page, and this is the front. I love the back page as the front, but I'm not sure I can make it work. Well, let's see. I actually can. This would, oh no, because it'll be backwards, so never mind. I can't. I'm trying to play with it. What is happening over here? What did I do? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do, because I'm going to be using the Rondell Collection by Prima, which I put somewhere. What did I do with the collection? Am I losing my noodle? Oh, it's right here. It's got, um, it's got these beautiful pinks and black and kind of like this yellowy orange. I know the camera doesn't show it very well. Um, it's got kind of these awesome, these awesome little pinks and, um, it doesn't really have a whole lot of blues at all, like at all. It does have some nice little, uh, bright green which I will grab. I don't have it right here in front of me. It does have lots of white, which I'll be using. So I just need to grab some of the, um, the black and I'm going to grab a little bit of the green. So give me one second. Uh, no, it doesn't have that either. Okay. And so what we're going to do is, this is super easy, you guys, okay? This is how you use pastel, pan pastels. What you're going to do is, some of them come with these awesome um, little heads that you can use on these amazing little tips, okay? And uh, they're little knives that you can paint with, right? And they have different shapes and such. Oh, and you can also get these awesome sponges and you can use makeup sponges, but these are significantly thicker. So they're really, really great. Um, so I'm going to be using this one for now and I might switch for more detailing to the little knives. Okay. So I'm going to grab those and I'm going to start with, um, Let's see. I'm going to start with a little bit of this pink. And um, I'm going to do a little bit of this yellow. I'm not going to do white. I might do some black in it. And does the Rondell collection have purple? Not really. Um, a little bit of purple. Little, little bit. So I might use a little bit of that. And this, this green right here. So these are the ones that I'm going to use for now. Okay. I'm going to line them up and I'll tell you the colors that I'm using. I'm going to start with this pink and this pink is called Red Iron Oxide Tint. Red Iron Oxide Tint. Okay. For those of you that are following along. All right. I'm going to pull this open and I'm going to take these. Okay. And it's super soft. It's like silk. And I'm going to start in the middle and kind of work myself out, okay? And you'll start to see the resist come out, okay? Very slowly, it'll, co it'll come, I promise. And they're very highly pigmented, which is really, really fun. And I think I'm actually going to use one of these knives. That's more the look I'm going for. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to pull that out. And I'm going to put this on. Just like that. I love these little knives. And you can find them at your local art stores too. Okay. I know. It's not cute, but look at it. And now you have a little tool.
I'm not sure you can see very well. Do you need me to lower the camera a little bit, you guys? Let me lower the camera just a little bit because I have a feeling you guys can't see very well. Sorry, I'm making you dizzy. Is that a little bit better? Let me know yes or no. You don't see the resist yet? Just wait. Just be patient. They don't, um, some of them do come with a pastel, so some of them will have a, a container like this. Um, and then you open the bottom of the container and it has sponges. I've taken them out, but, but it'll come like like two of these or something will come in together. Every package will have something different inside of it, um, which is really great. It's uh, Or you can buy it separately, like you can buy different applicators. This is called Soft Knives and Covers, and it says made for pan pastels. Um, and then there's this one, right? So there's different things you can get, okay? But they get wrecked very easily with a canvas. That's the only thing, so you gotta really watch. I was being a little bit rough there, so I kinda ripped mine. I was trying to go fast. It's not something you go fast on. So let me show you the resist. I don't know if you can see. Can you start to see it, you guys? They are very low dust. They're absolutely amazing. Can you guys see this or not? I just want to make sure because I can't see my screen. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the resist is going to start coming out. Okay, and I'm just going to switch this to the different side since I ripped the top part. And it takes a little bit to play with and kind of get used to. And I'm going to blend. So, and they blend like paint. That's the most amazing thing about these guys. I absolutely love it. When You'll see once I blend two colors together, just beautiful. Just beauty. Okay. Whoop. It's because I ripped it. It fell out. Okay. Okay, it's enough pink for now. I will do a little bit more pink later. I'm going to put a different tip because I'm going to do a little bit of green in there. I don't want too much green, I just want little accents. And this green that I'm using is called Hansa Yellow Shade. Okay, so it's a yellow green. And I'm just grabbing a little bit, I don't want too much. And what I want to do is there's a butterfly here and there's a leaf here. I want that leaf to be a little bit in the green. So I'm just applying it gently, ever so gently on the resist. It's like a green swirly leaf that's going to pop out eventually. I don't even know what my camera angle is like right now since I'm completely frozen. It's really annoying to be honest with you. To be honest with you guys. So annoying. I'm in my element. I love to paint. This is way too much fun for me. Who else is going to be following along with me this month? Uh, no, it'll come out with these. These are dark enough. I promise you guys. It's just the screen is not picking it up very well, but the resist is coming out and the more color I apply, the more it starts to come out. So that's what I'm doing, but I'm doing layers, right? Because I don't want to oversaturate my paper at first. So I just, first I want to kind of figure out my image and then I'll keep applying color and they, they'll just start to come out. Like if I get a little bit close, can you see the resist? 
sorry, I'm, am I off camera there? And as I apply a little bit darker, it starts to come out. And then I just kind of blend with my finger. And you guys notice there's like no dust, which is just fabulous for creating. Just fabulous. And I want to put a little bit of green up here. I don't want too much green. Oh, well, we're going to embellish this puppy like crazy. I cannot wait. Lots of resins. Lots of yumminess. Okay, I think that's a little bit of enough green for now. I might add some more, more layers. Okay. Is my chat behind? No, my chat is not behind. Maybe it is. I don't know. How do I know? Were you trying to ask me something? I won't go on until you tell me. Hmm. Is my chat behind you guys? This is so annoying. I hate that you guys can't see me. Or, I mean, I, hate, I can't see myself while I'm... Okay. Okay, so I can keep going? Okay, good. Sorry about that. That kind of freaked me out. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my um, yellow. And this yellow, I haven't... Oh, I have used it. It's called... But see how it comes? It'll come with little instructions, you guys. And it comes with three different tips, okay? Which is really great. And uh, the one I'm using is called Di uh, Di Diary Lied Yellow Tint. And so instead of changing the tip, I'm going to grab this and flip it around. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Just like that. And then open this up. Oh. I see... I see it, Yvonne. What do you want me to see? I'm confused. I'm confused. My chat is behind. That really, really sucks. I'm sorry, you guys. Ustream has not been the greatest lately. It's really starting to annoy me. So I'm adding some yellow right now. What you see on your screen is behind what we see. Oh, great. How lovely. <laughs> oh, you stream. You're killing me. Can you guys see how beautiful they blend? It kind of creates that orange that um, the Rondell collection has once I blend with the green. I just love that. And the resist is really starting to come out as I add more color. I'm not sure if you guys can tell or not. It's really, really beautiful. It's really starting to pop. And I'm not sure it's, I'm not sure the camera's capturing it. I'm not sure what's happening with the feed. Oh, yours is behind too. Do you guys want me to um, stop the broadcast and start again? Would that work? Let me know. Why don't I do that? Why don't I stop? Am I fine? 
Okay. All right. It's just annoying. Very, very annoying. Right now, I'm just in the zone, painting away. This is just way too much fun. We need to bring the pink back, I think. That's enough yellow for one person. It's actually not that yellow, it's more orangey. I'm not sure the screen picks it up properly, but it's actually... Um, it is quite, quite beautiful. As you guys know, the colors on screen are totally different than the actual colors, right? They're so much nicer. When I uh, post the pictures, right? You guys have seen that. can start to see the resist really come out the more color I add to this and I'm just kind of going in a circular motion filling in ensuring that I get all the nicks, nooks and crannies so that there's no patchiness and I'll have to patch some stuff up here of course but that's because I wanted to leave room for blending Okay, so if you start light and go dark, that always works better. Can you guys see the bottom? The resist is popping out really, really nicely. This color, oh, you're trying to ask for the color. This color is called Oxide, uh, what is this color? It's called Red Iron Oxide Tint. And I'm going to sit down now because my back is killing me. As you know, now I have back problems after falling down the stairs. <laughs> killing myself in the winter. You see the resist at the bottom? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And the flower is going to pop out here really, really nicely in a moment, too. You'll see. So who said they're, they're um, joining the Mixed Media Challenge? I didn't see the chat when I asked the question. Is that Tanya Gibbs? Did I just see that? Hang on, I can't see. I love these. They're so flipping thick. There's like almost no dust on this thing. It's so amazing. I love my pan pastels. I love them. Can you guys start to see the resist popping out? As soon as it starts to fill in. It just really starts to pop. I'm not sure the, the screen is capturing it. here. Very quiet today, aren't I? <laughs> you confused Tanya? That's so funny. It's Yvonne, Tanya.
it's like I think Yvonne's like trying to escape or something from the CIA. She's like she has like this incognito game name. Let's add a little bit of green. That's what's needed next. And I'm actually going to use, what's really great is that if you have a layer of another uh, color on top, you can literally use your finger or something and wipe it right off. It just comes right off. It's so awesome. So you don't have to worry about contamination with these guys. They don't really get contaminated, which is really fabulous. And I'm just circling around, okay? Blending, that's all I'm doing, just blending. That's all I'm doing right here. Circular motions. And the leaves just start to pop. On, I can see that there's a on the screen it's showing a, it that it's yellow but it's actually a green how annoying okay I'm gonna put a little bit of green down here just to blend a different color they are so fun aren't they I love them I really really do they're very very fun need a little bit of purple what do you guys think do we need purple even though the collection doesn't have a whole lot of purple I, I think it needs just a tiny bit I love purple the purple I'm going to be using is called violet violet tint okay and it comes with a cute little applicator right so why don't we use that and then I can put it back in there so that I know that it belongs there uh, is there a limit to the number of entries? You would make more than one book? Okay, I'll tell you what, you guys. If you are that amazing that you can make more than one um, journal, like with pages inside, by all means, you deserve to have a second entry or more than one entry. I, there, like, I, There's no way I can finish more than one book so for sure by all means if that's something you want to do please go nuts I won't say no to a second entry okay I'm just adding it a little bit to the butterflies and a little bit here I don't want too much violet just a little bit I'm so in love with these books I really really am a little bit to the flowers and what's so great is that the more layers you add to this puppy, the more the resist pops out. So you just have to be patient, okay, and keep blending the colors. Can you guys see the purple? Isn't that pretty? I know, the add thing can be very, very annoying. I'm going to grab the pink again because I just want to keep blending. I promise you we'll start embellishing soon. I hope you're not bored. <laughs> um, I don't have a minimum amount of pages, but you guys, you know, it is supposed to be a year in review. So um, I would say that um, I would say like a minimum of five pages six a minimum of six pages that's what I'm gonna say okay I never even thought of that so yeah a minimum of six and I think that's fair right but man I mean my year in review might have like 30 or 40 pages right and I love these albums because they have really big rings 
So they're just fabulous. Do they react with water? Yes, they do. Somebody, who asked me that? I, I saw it while I was looking at the screen earlier and I forgot to answer that question. It does. Um, so it does react with water. So one of the things that I can do is I can spray it and blend a little bit. But the other thing I do is when I'm done, I use spec uh, Spectra Fix, which is a pastel fixative. This is an all natural odor free um, milk formula. And you can use it for pastel, pencil, charcoal, watercolor, mixed media. It's um, health safe. So you can actually spray this indoors where some of the other stuff you can't. Um, so yeah, it's called Spectra Fix. Okay. As you can see. Yeah. So why don't we do that just to show um, some of you how they blend. So I'll sp I'm just spraying a little bit of water. And then I can take this, right, and the color really starts to move. Okay. But the thing is, is you got to watch. If you don't spray it with, um, with a fixative, if it gets moisture in any sort of way, what's going to happen, you guys, is that it's, you know, it's not going to last, right? So you got to ensure that you... Um, what do you call it, that you uh, fix it with something, some sort of fixative. If you don't have one, get one. This will last you forever. But as you can see, the colors really blend when I put some water on it. Can you guys start to see? Six. Six pages. Did you get that? Yes. Just adding a little bit more and then I will be done. And then we'll do the back page and then we'll start embellishing. What do you guys think? Whoops, my camera moved. There we go. See that beautiful resist? For some reason, right now on the camera, it's showing like there's patches everywhere. I promise you, there's no patches anywhere. It's like fully coated. It's just so weird the way the light picks up on cameras. Tanya, I missed your show. I was in San Francisco. I landed late um, last night. I had uh, my flights were delayed. It was a gong show, so much rain. Ugh. Anyway, so I'm sorry I missed your show. What am I using as a resist? I'm not using anything. These are the Prima Mixed Media albums, and they're all, they already come with a resist, which is really great. Um, so they all have different um, resist patterns on them. This one, I'm not sure. Can you guys see that resist on that? It's beautiful. So then you can use a spray, but this month we're using Pan Pastels as the sponsors for the mixed media uh, group this month. Okay. And there is the mixed media challenge over on my blog and on the mixed media group. So go check it out if you're interested. And Pan Pastels is going to be giving away some Pan Pastels, of course. Yes, Ava. Yeah. All right. I'm going to spray with a little bit more water just to blend it a little bit more. And then we'll go to the other page. <laughs> Ava just fell and she's like, I'm okay. <laughs> you can find the albums at your memories here. Oh, look at that. Yvonne's like right on there. She read my mind. She read my mind. I'm going to add a little bit of green and I'm done this this part okay you guys are probably bored of watching me do this isn't isn't it awesome the script one is awesome and she's going to be putting together um either a kit or giving you guys a discount on the items that i use tonight uh i believe all the pages have the resist built into them do they not um 
the album covers do have the resist built on them and then you separately have to buy this giant pack of the pages and I'll show you the pages in one moment as soon as I'm done putting the green I'll show you the pages they're amazing they have uh, so many different um, they have so many different types of paper in there like canvas and resist and you name it it's really really great I'll show you in one second just give me a moment to add a little bit of the green. Fabuloso. Okay, I really like that. I think it turned out good. Okay, so enough of the green. Let me show you the pages and then we'll go to the back page. Maybe we'll do the back page last, okay? Maybe we'll do the back page at the end of my last show. We'll start with the first page. But I'll show you this. Oh, you can see that you can see it in the back here, but I'm going to show it to you one by one. Uh, do they have the fixative? The fixative you can buy at Delta, which uh, we posted the link earlier. But look how much you get in here, you guys. So there's these beautiful tags. There's this cool paper that already comes kind of distressed. Um, and look at the back. Isn't that beautiful? There's this, love that. Another cool one. And this one. And these are, none of these are resist, but they're kind of like these funky papers. Look at this. This one's super fun. And then this is a canvas and it's not a resist. It's just a canvas page, canvas page, canvas. There's a lot of pages in here. Canvas. And then you get Resist. And this is Music Notes, which is really pretty. And this one has, I'm trying to see what it has, like swirly flowers or something. I can't tell, but it's got something. Birds, maybe. Damask. I don't know. Uh, this one's Damask. And this is Script. Um, what else does it have? It has a ton of these clear plastic covers, which we'll be decorating one tonight. And then, um, water, I think this is watercolor paper or mixed media paper in here. I don't know which one it is. It's really, really thick. And then that's it. So there's 24 different, um, pieces in here. It's pretty darn awesome kit, you guys. Okay. And yes, the Spectre Fix. You guys buy it at Delta Arts. They're awesome. Okay. So that's that's that. Let's embellish this. Let me dry it up first because I sprayed so much water on it. I'm going to dry it up and then I'm going to go ahead and spray this Spectra Fix on it. Okay. You can ask me questions now because now I'm watching the chat. watching to see what was all included. It's so nice to see so many of you tonight. Oh, what did you miss? Um, we just created the a little bit of the front cover of the mini album, Leanne. How's it going, girl? You think you need it? I think you need it too. Can you see the butterfly? Yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah, for some reason, the camera isn't capturing it very well. I'm sorry. I don't know why. Okay, so now that it's it's semi-dry, I'm going to go ahead and spray the Spectre Fix. Okay, just so, to ensure that it stays... Oh, it's clogged. Ah, come on, baby. Unclog yourself. It's never clogged on me before. I don't know if it's cold or what. That's okay. I sprayed some of it. That should be good enough. I'm going to um, let it sit. And we're, we're going to embellish it. I'll let it dry and I'll embellish on over top of it. I don't I don't care. Um, okay, so the next thing. Oh, you bought the mixed media? Oh, awesome. Yay. 
Okay, cool. So what we're going to do next is before I do anything, I actually want to put a little bit of the black, right? Because the, um, this page does have, um, this paper line does have the black in it. So I want to ensure that um, it's got a little bit of black detailing on it. Not too much. Others will be a little bit dark. But I am going to grab a little bit and start blending some. Okay. And it kind of turns a little bit gray. But I do want this paper collection to match. So I'm just blending a little bit of black on the edges. I love this mini albums. They're so awesome. And I'm doing dark and then with a circular motion, I'm kind of blending in. Okay. Because it's a little bit wet still, it kind of blends really, really easily. I hope I'm on camera <laughs> on frame since I can't really see it uh. how was your show Tanya last night I didn't watch the screen when I was talking about you I don't know what you guys made a mini album or something or I am on on screen. Okay, good. On frame. Good, good, good. Oops. Circular motion, you guys. Circular motion. Don't do what I do. Otherwise, it, you'll have weird lines. Love the black. Love it. Isn't that pretty? Doesn't the black just blend everything together? Calendar mini with the place and time paper. Oh, awesome. Oh, I got to check it out. I'm so sorry I missed it. I really wanted to be on the... I really wanted to see it. It was not the best flight. Oh, yeah. Did you record it? The black looks awesome, doesn't it? I think I want a little bit more black. I, I really do love grunge. I, you know, I just really, really do. <laughs> you can't get away from it. It just, I don't know. It makes everything better. It makes my life better. Grunge. I'm grungy. I'm a grungy bear. That's what I am. A grungy bear. Okay, I'm just closing this up. And this color is called black. Isn't it? Yeah, it's called black. In case you're wondering. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, any other color I want to use? I don't think so. I think I'm good. Um, I don't know. I might need a little purple later. That's okay. We can always add more, right, guys? Okay. Plus, I have a big shipment of the pan pastels coming because they're sending me all the other colors. Um, they just they just didn't come in time for this show but i promise you we'll have more next class okay so i'm not going to do the back side right now um let's do uh let's embellish this puppy and then we'll do one or two other pages and sides oh we might not have time to do two but one for sure okay um what we're going to use is uh let me think here <laughs> Mm -hmm. I gotta where did I go okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab I'm gonna grab a doily so I like to use the Martha Stewart doilies or the Wil Wil Wilson that cake you know what I'm talking about all right we're gonna use one of these in here and I'm probably gonna cut it so one of these and I'm just gonna grab my Prima Vine hiding. I'm going to grab one of these, which is, um, this one's called the Pixie Vine Almanac. 
Um, the one that we'll have at the um, Your Memories here might be slightly different. It just depends what we can get in stock. But this does match the Rondell collection. Okay. And then what we're going to do is I am going to grab... There's this paper right here, and this paper is called Polonaise, right, from the Rondell collection, as well as this paper right here, and this one is called, um, I can't see, Sauvienne, okay, in the Rondell collection. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to cut some of these beautiful little flowers out. So we're going to do a little bit of fussy cutting, just a little bit, not too much. And I gotta sit down again because my back is really, really killing me. No joke. No joke. We're gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting. I really, really want that bird on there. Okay. You guys will tell me you love to fussy cut. I love to fussy cut too. I um, it kind of relaxes me. It really does. Really, really does. So we'll do that and we'll do that. But before we actually fussy cut this puppy, I actually wanted to. What I want to do that I haven't done yet is I'm going to take some gray paint. Hang on, I'm just grabbing it. Give me a moment. And what I want to do is, um, you'll see in a moment what I want to do. I just need to find my thing. Don't think I'm crazy. I'm hoping that this paint is not totally dry. No, it's not. It's perfect. Because the Dell collection has some grays in it, I really, um, I'm going to take one of these. Where are they? One of my palette knives. Okay. Just going to blend this in a little bit. Okay. I know this is crazy. And I want it mixed media like, right? So I would just need to splatter some paint on here to make it a little bit more mixed media like. Uh, these ones, yes, Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz, baby. I don't fussy cut with them, but I can't find my fussy cutting scissors. I have no idea where the heck I put them. You guys know which ones I use, right? I use those um, Fiskars spring-loaded scissors for my fussy cutting usually, okay? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of gray here and there on the edges. Just a little bit, not too much. Here and there. But now this makes it much more um, more mixed media like. You know what I mean? Um, what happened? What bulbs? Which bulbs are you talking about? I'm not sure what you guys are talking about. What bulbs? Did I miss something? Okay. I'm going to put this aside. All right. So now we're going to put this aside for a moment and, or we're just going to leave it there while I fussy cut. Yeah, these are, they're really bulky to fussy cut, but I can't find my other scissors. And then the other scissors I have really hurt my hand. So at least these guys, I'll put this here. I find that these guys at least don't hurt my hands when I fussy cut, even though they kind of suck at it. And my, hurt, my hands usually hurt very easily, so I try not to use scissors that um, will hurt me. So that's what I'm doing right now. You know, I don't usually like to fussy cut on camera. 
I keep forgetting to fussy cut my stuff prior to the show, which would probably work better. I'll try to remember that for next class so that you guys don't have to watch me fussy cut. It's kind of boring. Okay, there's one. I'm pretty fast, but... Um, yeah, Miranda, what are you cooking tonight? Let us all know. Enlighten us about your cooking. Enlighten us. You are so funny, girl. Man, I used to cook like that for my husband when I um when I didn't have kids. But no more. Now he does more cooking than I do. I have a great husband. He cooks. And he actually really enjoys cooking, which is really great. It works for me. It really works for me. Yes, Cookie? No, go upstairs. I don't want to hear it. Go up now. Yep. Okay, go upstairs. When I'm done, you can do one. Upstairs. No, I'm I'm on a show right now. Up, up you go. No. No. Nope. Ava, we had a rule. You go upstairs right now, or you're gonna go on a timeout. You have three seconds to go. One, two, three. Ava, if you keep standing in the door, you're going. That's the rule. Because I said so. When I'm done my show, you can we can talk about it. Okay, so we've got a couple of those. Sorry about that. My kids are tired. They haven't seen me. Oh, oh not the countdown. <laughs> they totally know I'm not serious. They don't actually get timeouts, which is the funniest part, but that's okay. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'd like to use, I'd like to tear a little bit of this paper. Okay, so I'm just going to tear this puppy up a little bit, just like that. And what I want to do is I am going to take a little bit of my pan pastel, my black, And look how beautiful it inks up. Isn't that awesome, you guys? It's like chalky. So awesome. I love it. I love it. It's so weird how different the pink looks on the camera. It's just strange to me. Okay. So we're going to start the placement. Okay of some of the flowers. We will use real flowers as well. Okay, so this can go on the bottom. I'm actually going to cut this doily in half. I promise you live, the cut, the pinks and stuff are exactly like this, but on the camera, it shows like it's different. I don't get it. I don't know if it's the light or what the heck it is, but it is weird. Okay, and this is going to be covered by flowers and stuff, okay, in a moment. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my vine, right? I do. I have the, what is that called? Ot light? Ot? Is that what it's called? I don't even know if that's what it's called. And I really love to kind of pull these apart. A lot of the time I like to cut them, which I am going to do right now. Am I on frame? I feel like I'm off frame since I can't see myself. It's really strange. Um, okay. I'm going to cut this in half. Oh, right there. Ouch. Okay. 
so that when I place the flowers, it kind of will, um, it'll, it'll cover that piece. And, and so it's like your vine is elongated. Okay. When you do that there, I'm a little bit there. Am I on frame now? Is that better? Okay. They do cut through anything. Isn't that awesome? And so then when you, what you want to do is you want to just move your vines around a little bit. Okay. And play with that until you find what you like. Okay. And make sure you never cover the holes, you guys, right? Otherwise, you're going to have a problem stringing your, um, putting your, um, these guys through, right? So I'm going to place it just like that for now. And I'm going to grab my flowers. And I also want, I want to use some of the beautiful Rondell collection um, vintage trinkets. And this is um, item 559632, okay, for those of you that are looking for it on um, the site, right? Did everybody get the site link? For those of you that didn't, just ask Yvonne and she'll link it for you. Okay. And I think I want to use these nice big one. I really like this one. I really like, oh, that one looks a little bit better actually with what we're making. I really, really like that. Okay. So we're going to use that. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet, but we'll put it somewhere. And the other thing I'd like to use is these, I love these beautiful shabby chic treasures. Okay. And this one is called um, 890704. That's the number of it. Okay. Shabby Chic Treasures. And I just love them. Okay. Sorry, I'm having a hard time opening this. Okay. The only thing I don't like about these is that they are so glued down on the paper it's crazy it just rips the entire thing off okay what are you guys talking about are you guys talking about your children don't you just love this this guy i just love it seriously and i'm not sure i'm going to use these corner ones or not i think i am let me see let me see. We'll probably do something like that right here. <gasps> are you talking about your son? Or are you talking about a dog? I'm confused. Putting on you if it wasn't minus something you'd put outside. Oh her her son? Oh wow. He must have really pissed you off. What did he do? Yeah, I won't use these guys. It's just not maybe later. It's not doing it for me. But the other ones, for sure. So now I need the big Prima flowers. So let me grab those from the Rondell collection. Check out what I found at the wholesalers today. I gotta show you guys for a moment. I'm taking a break for one second. I gotta show you this big giant spool. Because I've been loving this thing. I've been wanting this ribbon for a long time and it was always sold out and it looks really good with um like what do you call it oh i just broke the spool with uh graphic 45 uh lady uh the ladies and gents ladies diary wherever it's called isn't this cool it's little rosettes i don't know if you guys can even see them it's prima it's awesome i know I love this so I'm really excited about that um, okay sorry guys I got off track I just had to you know I just have to go do that okay so here they are I have some leaves as well so what we're gonna do is we're going to grab some of these that go with the collection And we're going to add these puppies in here. And do you notice how you can barely see the gray? But it's kind of splattered in there, which is really fun. 
and it starts to bring some of the pink together, right? And then we want a little bit more black up here. That's what I'm thinking. This leaf is covering. I'm just placing, I'm just playing so that I can find. And I think what I'm going to do is I would like a little bow right here. That's what I want. And I think I want one more of these flowers, by the way. I want one like up here somewhere. Yep. And this is actually going to go underneath like that. That's what we're going to do. Are you loving this? Oh, good. Okay, and then I'm. What am I grabbing? Yes, I forgot these awesome little. Um, these are called Cradle Sparrows. Item number five five two eight eight six. It's already eight oh seven. I'm not even sure we're gonna get through another page, you guys. Um, and then we're gonna tuck this puppy in. I better start applying these with glue, don't I? Shouldn't I? But we're gonna apply that there. Really, really cute. Aren't those awesome? I love them. They're super adorable. But we do need my little um, ribbon. So I'm going to grab that. Here we go. Sorry, I couldn't find it. I didn't know where I had put it. Okay, and I'm going to just use some uh, kind of cream white seam binding. Okay, and I'm just going to make a bow. I'm horrible at bows. It takes me like two hours to make one, so don't laugh at me tonight if it takes me two hours. I just, you know, it's like someone needs to do a bow tutorial. I'm just like inept at them. I'm just so not good at it. Never have been. I've looked at tutorials even. I don't even know how to make a proper one that looks half decent. This might be as good as it gets. You're going to send me a bow maker? Is there such a thing? I didn't know that. Well, that would be handy. If I would have known that, I would have bought one a long time ago. Man, oh man. I tell you, the things you learn on my own show. Is there such thing as a bow maker? Hey, Annette. Lots of people on the show tonight. It is just awesome. I love it. Oh, it's called Bow Easy? Oh, maybe I have seen it before. Maybe it just looked too complicated for me, I think. I was like, oh, that's way more complicated. I'm just trying to see if this is going to work. Yeah, something like that. I'll, fi I'll fix this up. We'll put a gem or something in there. Okay. All right. So let's paste this together. Let's actually put it together. So as you guys know, I love to use my Helmar 450 Quick Dry, especially for these type of projects. Oh, it's so nice. I haven't crafted in so many days. I was in San Francisco and um, I had so many projects to do right before I left. So I was crafting like, is it dried up? What happened? Um, I was crafting like a mad woman before I left and then now it's been like, you know, four days of nothing. So I'm kind of deprived, I kind of feel deprived from crafting, if you will. All right. Okay. So I'm just kind of gluing this down and I'm trying not to, I don't want to do the edges yet because I may stick more things. You guys know me. I like to add layers. <laughs> you do have to get yourself some Helmar. You sure do. I'm going to start pulling these out. I think I know how they go anyway. 
and if not, who cares? I'll recreate, right? Who cares? As Hannah, my oldest, tells me, Mom, stop looking at <laughs> stop looking at Pinterest and just be creative. That's what my oldest told me. I said, I have to do a, a project. I have I, I need to go to Pinterest to get some inspiration. She's like, Mom, just be creative. Use your mind. She's seven years old. It does dry very quick, which is my favorite part about it. It's my favorite, favorite part. That's why it's called 450 Quick Dry. It's not cool. Because it dries quick. It's quick, baby. I think I might put that flower there. Because I really like that. I really like that, actually. Yeah, Jess, you can get that there. I can't wait to see your guys' entries, you guys. This is going to be so awesome. It's going to be an awesome month. Okay, for those of you that still have time to stay behind, I know the show is going a little bit over, and I'm sorry. And obviously, we only got to make one thing, one page. But I promise the inside pages will go much faster because um, I have them pre-designed, okay? Um, so what we'll do is the next show, we'll do like two or three pages, okay? And you guys can follow along and you'll have all the, I'll make sure that I post the links of all the products that I'll be using and you can get them all at your memories here, okay? I promise. Come on, baby, sit there sit there sit there and uh what was i saying is there a store near winnipeg um i'm just trying to think you know what for those of you that are canadian um and you don't want to order from the u.s um send me a private message and uh and i'll send you a i'll send you a link because i you know but you know what? Find out from um, find out from Christina how much the shipping is because you know what? Her shipping might be great for Canadians. So I wouldn't I wouldn't discount it. Yeah, I would find out. Let her know you're my moderator. <laughs> Oh, I'm just being silly. I'm sorry. Okay, hang on. Just trying to add this puppy in. This thing is very bulky. Very bulky. I love it. I very, I very much love it. Uh, oh, wow. That is crazy. That is, that is a lot of pins, my friend. A lot of pins. All right, let's add this bow somehow. Oh, see, look at it. It's ridiculous looking. It's pathetic more than ridiculous. Come on. Somebody make me a bow quick and send it to me. Bow inept, I tell you. I'm going to try a different way of making a bow. Let's try this guy. I should, I should have like bows pre-made before my shows in case I ever want to use one. I'm the crafter that doesn't know how to make bows. <laughs> oh, we're all good at something. Bow is not my fourth day. Who's having online shopping? that I missed. Oh, that's a better bow. I, I'm not going to mess with that right now because, you know, that'll just, that'll just be annoying. We'll just do that. I don't want to get on my rings, so I'll just stick the bow like that. I like that. Come on, baby, come out. There we go. I love this glue. Seriously, it dries so fast. 
I move this out and this puppy out. I might stick this guy in a different place. And we still need to put the bird. Don't forget the bird. Oh yeah, so what I was saying for those of you that um, want to stick behind after the show, I'll show you my little haul that I got today at the haul, at the wholesalers. Lots of Melissa Francis and stuff. So for those of you that want to stay behind, uh, you are more than welcome. I know there's some ladies that want to take a look at it. Okay, we'll put that up there actually, I think. Yes, baby. I change things up a lot, don't I? Okay, just like that. Just like this. I'm going to open up this flower a little bit. Oh, I love that. That looks great. And now, um, this guy, I really don't want this thing hanging. Like, I don't want it to be a hanging thing. So I'm going to take my Tim Holtz scissors and I'm going to cut this off if I can. There we go. Ta-da. Just went flying somewhere. And uh, I want to kind of stick this somewhere. And I'm not sure where, but I do want it somewhere. Maybe like right here. But I really want to see the birdie. So I'm actually going to put it down here. I'm going to tuck it in so that it kind of hangs right there. Okay. Do what? What you guys talking about? All right. And then last but not least, we got to put our birdie somewhere, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to need some pop dots, foam dots. Is there any left in here? There is. There is. Okay. And we're going to pull this up. And we're going to add him like right there. Okay. Just like that. And I was going to put some of these leaves in here too. Okay. Behind some of these flowers. I really like them. I really, really like them. They're, these are a little bit big. I want some of the smaller ones. And these are called um, Rondell Collection Plume. Five six two four four one. Okay. Oh, am I? Do I need to answer questions? Aren't those leaves awesome? They're stunners. Stunners. I really love these ones. Like these are so so pretty, aren't they? I love them. But there's only one of those kind. So I think I'm gonna stick this one like right here. Yeah. So pretty. I kind of want to hoard these. I might go back tomorrow and get some more. Okay, and then some of these. Okay. And just like that. Okay, tuck it in. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm hoping. And when the leaves, leaves are a little bit, too, oh, look at my big scissors. When they're too big, I sometimes cut them in half. Okay, that's what I do. And then it's really easy because then you can tuck them in. Right? And you don't have to worry so much. And then this, this part, I just kind of cut that off. And then now it's a proper leaf. Right? Then you don't have to worry so much. Isn't that great? I'm all full of tricks today. I tell ya. Not just a pretty face. As my husband always says. All right. All right, perfect. Um, one other thing that I wanted to do to this was what? I just can't remember what it was. I'm having like amnesia. What was it? I wanted to add a trinket or something. Oh no, I wanted to add, I wanted to add my title. I wanted to put year in review, but you know what, because it's getting so late, I'll do that at the next class. Um, but for those of you, I'm going to stop recording for those of you, and I'll show this to you, by the way, for those of you that, um, want to stick around by all means do. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my little haul video so that you guys can see what I got and, 
Um, but let me show you. This is the end result of it tonight. Okay, I'm not sure you can see it very well. Hang on. Move my stuff around here. This is how it turned out so far. And we'll put a title. Yeah, love it. Clap. I love it. <laughs> okay. So this will be our year in review. Aren't those pan pastels awesome, you guys? Sorry, my bow is kind of flapping around. It's not supposed to be. All right. Okay, I'm going to stop recording.